We are returning to one of our favorite RV parks in the valley. This time, it's Monta Vista RV Resort in Mesa, Arizona. It's a beautiful park. Just take a look. Hey, baby. Hey, beautiful. Wrong space, baby. Uh, Grizz and I are just about uh, getting ready to go for our walk and to pick up a bigger tripod. Why don't uh, you guys come along? It's like I'm right up to about here with almost being sick. And for those of you that aren't aware, this is what an embroidery machine looks like while it's putting out its product. forget to pick up the camera. It's 110 degrees outside here in this beautiful desert southwest, but with its beauty comes danger. Grizz, with his summer coat and not wearing his cape, is still a Washington dog and does not handle the heat well. Christopher, even though he won't admit it, is more susceptible to a heat injury because of his cancer treatments. They both work out every morning to build their strength and acclimatize, but you can see that it takes its toll. Calling Shelly License Mobile. Hey, Randy. Hey, beautiful. How we doing? Do? Traffic looks good. Okay, thanks, honey. Honey? Yeah? Can you hear me? Baby. Yep. Wrong space, baby. Okay. Oh, I see. There's Chris. Christopher's determined to get his strength back. Careful, I don't want you to hit that spigot if you... I'm trying to straighten out. Come back from the... Your tires are going to slip off the edge there. You need to come about... Eight inches to the passenger side. Working on it. Easy, buddy. There you go. That the stop for a sec. Stop, stop. Okay. Number one. Because of the box. Okay. About a foot or so. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, stop. Come back. Can we get the back door open? Yeah. Pretty boy. Why don't you come on? Oh, hi. Grizz and I are just about uh, getting ready to go for our walk and to pick up a bigger tripod. Why don't uh, you guys come along? We're out doing our morning walk, and the first part of our walk is always his time. That way he gets a chance to really look forward to and enjoy it. There's lots of sniffs. Lots of uh, doggy d mails and uh, lots of comments to return. He has such a great time. So we'll keep going and in a moment or two we'll start practicing more of his service dog stuff. What's interesting is the park is uh, pretty sparse. It's easy to know why. I mean it's gonna be a hundred and ten again today. Not many people want to be out doing things, even fun things, in this kind of heat. And most of the visitors most of the people that live here disappear during the summer. I can understand that too. We'd be gone if, uh, if it wasn't for what we're dealing with. But that's okay. Gonna get it taken care of and we'll get back out on the road again. We like to go into some of the larger rooms just so that he gets a chance to work out. 
Looks like they did the carpets in here. That's nice. And some upgrades. Very cool. This is the grand ballroom. And we'll do a sit stay here. Grizz down. Good boy. Grizz stay. I'll leave the lead and I'll walk away. And this is one of the practices we do for the TSA. And for large spaces. It gives us a chance to get everything squared in case uh, we have to take an airline trip. His job is to sit there and wait until he gets a recall. Yes. Come. Oh, I wonder if you are. He's such an amazing little man. We always make a point out of taking Grizz to new and different environments so that he gets accustomed to them and they don't surprise him. So he can look at it and just kind of relax. <laughs> He's always fascinated by the hot tub. Because of the different smell, I think, the heavier chlorine content. Not sure what it is, but he's always got to take a whiff of it and see what's going on. We go by, giving an experience with it. He's never been in a pool, so he doesn't really understand it. It's odd to him. He can see the bottom. He doesn't get why. He's never dealt with the experience, but he knows that if he bends down and he takes a lick, it's wet. Kind of like the bottom of his uh, dog bowl. So we give him a chance to look at it. We don't let him go in. We just let him learn that it's kind of an off-limits bounds for him. Yet I'm sure if he had to, he would jump in in a heartbeat. Anything to take care of us. A big boy. So this is getting near the end of our walk. And this will be a little bit of my time. I don't get much sun with everything that's going on. So I'm going to take a few moments to sit to the side and just relax and enjoy it. Grizz will have his shade while I get a little bit of a suntan. Grizzy, come! <laughs> He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. One of the tough things about being sedentary in one location for a while is that we don't really get to get out and do a whole lot. So you get to see an awful lot of same old territory. My problem is I've got days that are just amazing and I feel great. And then there's other times where it's like I'm right up to about here with almost being sick. And then because of the medication, which that's a part of, I get really emotional. I, uh, I have problems focusing on things that uh, are just normally routine if I'm not paying real close attention to it. Driving in the big things aren't a problem. It's just the little stuff. It's my mind wandering. I know it's the pills. I know it's, uh, it's the disease. But there's so many good days, and we really try hard to take advantage of it. I've got to hand it to Shelly and Grizz for putting up with me. I know it's probably not easy, but they're there for me. They're all I've got, plus you guys. I really look forward to opportunities to talk with you and to meet new people when we're out and about. <laughs> Just the other day we had someone say, oh yeah, there's Chris, he's a, he's a YouTuber. Never thought of myself as a YouTuber, but I guess I am. This is fun, this is cathartic, it really is helpful. Today in a little while I'll take off and leave Shelly and Grizz behind and run over to our uh, embroidery person, lady, and pick up some more experiments. You guys, when you're working your channel and you're having things made up for uh, swag and for stuff to use, maybe to sell, do you run into the same problems having to run a bunch of samples before you finally get something just exactly right the way you want it? Maybe I'm just too much of a perfectionist. I don't know. We'll see. i out for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, including my workout time. And like I said, still barren. We're headed back now. Get some cool time for Grizz. It's getting hot here fast, and he's quite a trooper. And then uh, we'll get a little lunch. I'll run my errands, and we'll sit back and relax for the day in the nice cool air conditioning in our RV. And for those of you that aren't aware, this is what an embroidery machine looks like while it's putting out its product. This is what Leanne uses for her one-off type deals, the smaller jobs. And then, when she gets going on a bigger job, she turns to a machine like this that is just absolutely amazing.
hope we get to see you again next week here on OLT. Please, travel safe.